Hello there. So in this video, I want to show the test on the batch processing and control net just to kind of verify if it does work, if the batch processing and control net work together. So we'll just have it hand on verification this. Right here, I'm running with a model anything 4.5 and it is automatic 1111 installations. If we're going to extensions and check for the update, at this time of recording, you can see it is all up to date. So let's go back to our image. And right here we have our image loading control net currently is not enabled. OK, and we're just going to tap Cyberpunk, have a default value of 0 0.75. It should give it plenty of the denoise for us to make different um, kind of model look. We're done and let's go ahead and click um, render. And as we can see, the image does not affect at all our position. At this time, I think it's the best thing. So if we can go ahead and batch processing and right here, I have it um, path to location of the folder where is all of animation frames. It's where all the frames is located. At this point, we can go ahead, batch and click on generate. OK, after this frame is completed right here, you can see we have our images and we can actually go ahead and going through those images. Let's go just very fast. We'll go to them. You can see they're all same. We have some change position on the leg right here, but general it will be same position. So it does not change at all. OK, so let's go ahead next. What we're going to do back to our image to image. We have our image enable going back to control net and we'll just enable our control net. We'll leave it everything by default. Let's go ahead and click generate at this time. And as we generate image, you can see it does duplicate it. By the way, we're using the Canon and our model preprocessor and Canon model. Um, you can see right here we have our images selected, the same as the process image afterwards. It definitely works. So right now we're going back to the, our batch processing. And the same things with all settings set here. Let's go ahead and click on generate. OK, so right here, our image is finished generating and we can just preview. Watch on the hand and you can see how the hands are raising up, dropping and second hand raising up and dropping. So it definitely the motion was reading from original image. And just in case, here's our original image where you can see the same. The hands go up, hand going down, hand go up and hand going down. So based on this basic test, I can say that batch processing does process with using control net for each image.